All right, so today we're going to be making a Victorian hat. This pattern is from Truly Victorian. They specialize in Victorian um, historic patterns. So um, I've already cut out my pieces out of buckram. That is a super um, stiff material that'll form the base of the hat. And what I need to do is to reinforce it. So following the guides on the pattern, I am stitching on some wire that'll help keep the, the hat from losing its shape. So it's a little tedious, but you just have to go through and whip stitch all this wire on. So it'll go around the edge of the brim, um, around the inside of the brim, around the top of the crown, and then there'll be a few reinforcing pieces, um, which is what I'm adding right here. They're just these little short pieces. Um, ordinarily, you would use millinery wire. I was um, doing this project kind of last minute, and um, so I was just working with materials I had on hand. So the wire that I have is a little bit thicker than I would have liked, but it did work out okay. It did make for a nice sturdy hat. So now I'm just joining the, uh, the crown to the very top of the hat, being careful to match up the front and the back. This was pretty satisfying. This is when it, you know, started to actually look like a hat. I was just doing a little test fit here to make sure that was going to match up okay. You don't actually join them together. Uh, now you move on to covering the hat. So I uh, quick stitch the top down and then uh, stitch the band around. So luckily, I didn't have to be too careful when I was stitching the very top on because those edges were gonna be covered. So I just needed to uh, you know, lay them down with some big ugly stitches. But whenever you actually switch to stitching the rest of the crown on, you did have to use, I did have to use some really tiny, tiny little invisible stitches. So that took, uh, that took a good bit of time. All right, so here I um, was covering the brim. The first layer, I just kind of ironed down flat over it and the, the buckram helped it just kind of stick. So that worked out really well, and then I could just go over with the top. This was the only section I could actually use the sewing machine on, was to stitch right around the inside of the brim. Um, so then I clipped the inside seam of the brim and went around with a little seam tape to cover those uh, rough edges. The butt brim. So then you take your crown and you start joining it to your brim. So you have to be really careful to match your front and back up just right, otherwise your hat will come out all wonky. This was also pretty tedious, um, but we got it done. I did make one mistake here, and I, um, I trimmed the inside of the rim too soon. I should have left that edge, um, that way it would have been a lot easier to join my crown to the brim. Uh, because it, it just made it a little harder than it needed to be if I'd had a little bit of extra fabric to work with. But it turned out fine and all my edges were covered. And here I am just putting a uh, little band around the crown. So that's both a decorative element and to cover our stitches from where we were joining the crown to the brim. And you can see on the underside I I'd added some... Uh, a little decorative edge around the brim again to help the hat hold its structure and just to make it look nice. So I have to stitch both the um, top and the bottom of this hat band um, because I was just using some bias tape. I also could have cut it um, to fit, maybe it would have, would have taken so much work to get it to lay flat. 
and these were some feathers I had left over from a different project. So now here's the fun part. Um, it's also the quickest part was uh, just adding the decorations on the hat. And here is our finished product, ready to join our 1898 Victorian sporting outfit. Um, I think it turned out pretty good. Thanks for watching.